<laughs> yeah. I thought we could fit the crops on fresh. That's a good idea. Are the, are the crops as much He's... interested in the fish as the bread? The uh, bread attracts the uh, fish, and then uh, and then the, and the, crops. the crops will have a crack at the fish. So, yeah, watch this. He's close yeah. enough now. Da, 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 there da, he da, is. Da, da, da. Go on, son. Look at his horrid arms. Oh, oh he took a fish. No, did he? Yeah. I'm Wouldn't sure. there be some chewing motion? Go on, son. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty oh, action. Fantastic. Look, there's two bits of bread there. You could have a fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> they love sandwiches, crocodiles. Do you really? think of yourself as English in... I mean, say you have dealings with Australian people, you say you have a lot of Australian guests. Do they... I mean, do you pump up the kind of novelty value, Aristo thing? Um, I'm a, for their benefit. I'm a pathetic chameleon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you put you a want smoking me, jacket on. And... I said, what do, you, what, what do you want me to be? <laughs> <laughs> we will be cross-dressing for dinner. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I, I think I'm English. Yeah. You know, I'm English. I've got these plums stuck in the back of my throat. There's no, <laughs> there's no dislodging them. <laughs> um, Quite by surprise, we came across this, a bushfire. No one had told us that this was the seasonal norm, yet every year, millions of acres are wiped out. The rising heat causes dust and hot ash tornadoes that the Australians call willy-willies. This is how fires spread. How does, it, how does it contain something which is, you know, which is so massive? I mean, there seems to be sort of relatively few people dealing with, with a fire that's raging over massive territory. Uh, uh, it's, uh, we try and, uh, if need be, uh, get ahead of the fire. If the fire breaks like this, or tracks the roads and put in a back burn. Back burning means what? You're burning back towards the main fire. So you start a fire? We start a fire to put a fire out. OK. It's going to burn anyway. But when, when the fire comes down, it's got the wind behind it, it's creating its own wind. It can come through at a rate of knots and jump any roads and tracks. So what we do, we burn back against the wind towards the fire. Okay. It's these, uh... So it gets here and it's got nothing to burn That's and it right. can't yeah. spread. Th this here, what we're looking at now, is a back burn from this morning. All oh, right. Yeah. You see the kites? Okay. Yeah. Ready crusted, ready barbecued rodents. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've always wanted to ask a fireman is, have you got a light? <laughs> the answer to that is no. Oh. <laughs> Nothing for it now but to wait for nature to regenerate. Broome is a mecca for artists of all kinds. Helen Norton, a former waitress, mechanic and animal trapper, is one of the most successful in the area. I actually did some pretty scary things if you were a concerned mother and I did I ran away no I didn't run away I actually left home and yes went off on my own at 16 and I got I just went and got a job at the Nullarbor Roadhouse which is you know a fairly remote part of Australia and uh, that's where I started my outback career I loved it fell into it naturally and my aspiration was strange enough it was not to wear frilly dresses even though you know I could wear a frock but it wasn't really and I put lippy on sometimes but it wasn't that so much as my aspiration was to actually get a Holden car and a rifle and so <laughs> and I did actually find myself um, amongst men all the time. They were shooters, they were fox shooters and, you know, rabbit shooters, etc. And um, because I was so interested in, 
in learning anything new and shooting just seemed great because I could beat boys. And what you were better than I them, was I was better. You've got to be better than the men or they won't respect you. So, or, or you'll be tied up to the kitchen and you'll have to do the dishes and the food. And you think that, 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 that could, yeah, we've sort of coming to think that, that the, mm. it's the environment that shapes them the way they are and what, what seems to us as city dwelling wusses as sort of macho behaviour and dressing as cowboys is actually a necessity. <laughs> so. uh, with all this new age man stuff, um, I think if you really ask women what they like, even though they like the guys to look after the babies and do the dishes, to find that element where they're still blokes and they're still men is the key because I, I just sort of reckon that a lot of this thing with the marriages failing and everyone you know going off on a thing is because women just can't actually get that maleness in out of their men anymore <laughs> but I don't blame the men the poor buggers I mean they're so confused they're just trying to do the right thing and I mean they've been led into it and I don't think it's doing men any good at all and I don't think they particularly like to and so they're all protesting and going and living in the bush and throwing bulls around so <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Using the horns is, I suppose, the way of putting his macho-ness on his head, because I actually think some of them think of themselves like that, as big horny bulls. <laughs> I love the determination on this, but right, right, we're going to get this done. Let's go, yeah, let's go, yeah, yeah. I do find... Um, male company much more comfortable. I mean, I am far more at home, you know, around the corner at the mechanics, you know, sitting on a drum, drinking a beer, discussing the inner parts of D9 motors than I am actually sitting at a, you know, a Tupperware party discussing the finer points of a lid. <laughs> <laughs> All sorts of things that we take for granted have to be considered here. Like where do you pick up your fuel and how do you get it into your plane? Darwin is the capital of the Northern Territory. On Christmas Day in 1974, it was flattened by a cyclone called Tracy. Our journey took uh, sort of three flights, really, two landings to pick up petrol. And it does make you think, and also meeting a lot of the people who do a lot of travelling, Australians who travel around Australia, as well as all the visitors, is that um, because all the distances are so huge, that the journey itself becomes an event and it's sort of the vehicles specially designed. There's an extra petrol tank on every uh, hire car we've had um, because they have to go so far. But also this sort of celebration of the journey, the meeting of backpackers and everything. Yeah. People would tell you how long it took them uh, to get there. Yeah, hey, good day, how are you doing? 20 hours, mate. Yeah. Uh, not bad. Um, whereas, you know, we if, also, if we, we all met in Knightsbridge or something yeah. like that, you wouldn't, you wouldn't sit around and discuss how long it took you to get there. And now we're off. <laughs> now we're off where? What are we doing with these guys? Who knows? Earl, Darren and Greg. Three Darwin boys. Like this kind of day out today now. I mean, this is a kind of um, a day of leisure. And what they choose to do is go out with a case of stubbies and a um, couple of rifles and shoot stuff. But if you were to go out, you know, in a leather hat, with a gun and shorts and rugged boots on in England, um, well, you'd get 30 years. <laughs> but yeah. out here, it's just surviving the environment. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Important bit. That's the pig calling the cow ugly. <laughs> <laughs> They've taken a sickie to spend the day with us. How do you know there's no crocodiles in there? Um, you don't really, you just go for a swim and if something bites you, we'll poke it in the eye. What's it like around here for mozzies later? Really bad. Really bad? Really bad. Yeah, when I think I've already been done by one of the bastards. Yeah, yeah. 
Which stuff? Just right there in the front. front These the guys take one heat one and the mozzies right. in their stride, but it's well known that it gets to some people and they lose their mind. It's known as going troppo. What did I do with my beer? Because I do say that people go bonkers in the sun. Oh, there. a bit of troppo sort of stuff, yeah. 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 <laughs> what does it mean? Oh, the heat sort of gets to you a bit, I suppose. Um, when I first came up here and... Uh, when are you likely to There's a story in the paper where this guy it's got um, mowing his lawn Sunday morning, neighbour walks out, pistol back of the head, doof. And good night, Irene, you know. Um, <laughs> cops come around, uh, the dude's back in bed asleep. Just didn't give a... Just uh, he thought the bloke was pissing him off, so yeah, put a bullet in the back of his head. Gone troppo. Under. Gone troppo, mate. Well, that's what it means, then. Yeah, it's um, murder and suicide, and that increases by about 200%. 200%? Um, yeah. Yeah, up here in the wet season. Just Huge. because of the heat, yeah. yeah oh, we have yeah. an incredible um, death violence. rate and murder and all that sort of shit for the size of the town. Really? They're just, um, yeah, they're, they're just, people go off. It's funny thing, really. Yeah. In my mind, uh, we're a bit more straight down the line. We'll, uh... What territories, boys? Yeah. If you want to, if you ask a question, you'll generally get a straight answer. Yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty short one and direct. Local. Mightn't be what you want to hear every time, but that's part and parcel <laughs> of being up here. Do people, um, do other people when they come from other areas notice that about you? Like, as well, I mean, other Australians. Oh yeah, yeah I think so. We're yeah. The <clears throat> beauty about today is that they've got nice bitumen roads going out, so yeah. it gets we get there a lot quicker, and and that section of time that you're on the dirt has been reduced. Yeah. But if you were to go back. Uh, say 30, 40 years into the territory when you're yeah, looking at 1930, 1940, these guys are the legends. They're the ones that packed up uh, a very simple car and just basically drove off into the bush relying on themselves. Yeah, this country will uh, really eat you if you get caught out uh, anywhere. You've got to have a realisation of, of a threat of wildlife, of crocodiles, of mosquitoes. They said, well, OK, uh, I'm self-sufficient. I believe in my own capacity to stay alive and, uh, and ensure that I'm going to get where I'm going to go because the alternative was death. And that's why you guys, when you came up here, might have seen the old wave every now and again from people saying, are you OK? Yeah. I'm going this way, you're going that way. <clears throat> yeah. We're OK, you're OK. I might see you back and you might need a lift. Mm. You know, when people tell me that, oh, hold it, we're going to get invaded, I reckon, go for it, mate. If you're going to send a platoon into the uh, mangrove swamp, well, I want to watch. <laughs> I want to sit there and see how long you blokes actually last. Yeah. You know, you make it past the sand flies and the mosquitoes, you're doing well. Because after that, you've got your crocodiles, your snakes, and then you get on the other side of the mangroves and you've got some barren dirt like in. this. You want to make sure you have a decent water bottle. So, uh, in some respects, the northern part of Australia will protect itself. Uh, again, that's just illustrating how harsh this, this country can be. And that's just not the Northern Territory, as I said, it's all, it's all around Australia. Mm. So you'd say you like it here? Love it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We said goodbye and set off back to town. We thought we'd seen the last of Earl, Darren and Greg. So, the Utes packed up. Ute, Ute, mate. Hose hey. has it? come off. It goes normally, but just got a bad afternoon. But Got to stop oil, uh, oil in the power. Yeah, that's yeah. a new <laughs> modification because the you put that back on there. It looks so there you are. Yeah, it is. I suppose better off <laughs> than left, don't we? <laughs> right. Well, the tail would be better. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Backseat drivers, don't you hate them? Yeah, keep going, but don't use the clutch so much. Go, 